All right. I blew my nose. I wiped my tears. I'm ready to do another video. All right. So uh, last video I was sad. This video I'll be sad, but in a different font. Um, so this is book talk two. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video about writing every time I have a book come out. I have about 14 works in progress working at the same time. Don't know how long it'll take me to get through all of them, but I have a third book that will be coming out on October 1st, or roughly, thereabout. I independently publish, so when it comes out is whenever I feel like it or whenever the Amazon people, the gods, the algorithm, decides to officially publish the paperback. You can schedule the ebook, but you can't schedule the paperback for a specific launch time. You just have to wait till it gets approved. So that can be fun. Anyway, but I released a book on May 9th, maybe. Uh, and it is very different from all my other books. And it's a poetry book called Broken Wrist Poetry. I, oh, to be sold or given out. Sorry, I forgot that was there. <laughs> I have extra copies to, to give to people, but um, that's, that's what it looks like. And there's the back and I designed the cover myself. That's my actual x-ray, by the way. Um, the broken bone is that I broke the like, scalploid. I crushed it when I fell. So uh, I guess the lore. Uh, in January, I was in a basement and I was hoverboarding and I fell and then I broke my wrist and then I type a lot for obvious reasons. I'm a writer and the way they had to wrap it up because I broke this bone here, I didn't have my thumb and my fingers couldn't move quite like I need them to to type. And it made me type so much slower that I found myself getting very aggravated when I tried to work on my fiction novels, my romance novels and such, because I like to type very fast. And so I, in order to not be so angry, I shifted gears and started writing poetry. The poetry is just basically my utterances and my thoughts while I was basically trapped, unable to write anything else. And so I wrote about how I was feeling, what was going on, um, and things like that. A lot of the poems are short and simple and not, I don't know how to explain this, but in general, as a writer, I'm not a very fluffy writer. I'm a very direct and almost formulaic writer in terms of I give you exactly what you need. And so I try to make the, the, my poems and also my fiction as clear and I guess plot heavy as possible where it's like the events motivate it rather than the writing beautification itself. Um, so I'll, I'll just read you a poem. I just kind of opened to a random one. I'll just read you a poem um, that, I, that I had. I'll read you two, right? So the first poem goes as such. I was not the gifted child. I was the average younger following the gifted elder. Everything I did was far too, was too far behind. The energy I had was lost running to catch up. Once I won the race, I realized I never wanted to be gasping for speed. I never wanted to compete with the gifted. So I became worse than average. I became the disappointment, the burnout, who was never really much of a flame. The gifted writes too, if you were wondering. She found success in that first too. My father was proud, now I'm running again. So that's just like a little story about uh, being a youngest child who isn't special. Yeah, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of content on the internet about being a gifted child. I wasn't a gifted child, I'm dyslexic. I was having problems since the beginning. Um, and then the poem on the next page, it's all blank and it just says, my wrist hurts still. This is on page 57, right? So it's like a good chunk into the book. I divide the book into the stages of healing I tell you about all kinds of stuff, really. Um, for some reason, while my wrist was broken, I was thinking about my mom a lot who passed away. So a lot of this is about like mother grief. And I think it's because t a year or so after she died, I broke my wrist as a kid. And I think it just kind of somewhere in my brain, it kind of connected. 
but uh, I really like my poetry book. Unfortunately, it's poetry and nobody reads poetry anymore. Um, let's talk about poetry real quick. I think poetry is a wonderful medium for several reasons. The first reason is, if you look at the book, it's relatively beefy, but if you look at how much white space there is, there's quite a bit, right? And so if you're not a, you know, skilled reader or you're a slow reader or what have you, you get to read a whole book and you can read this in one sitting. Like this is like a one hour, two hour read max. And then you get to have read a book, you know, and, it, and it's, I think it still has like the emotional, like heaviness of reading like a full novel. And so it's quicker if you're not as uh, prone to reading or because everything's short and kind of standalone-ish, you can just read little bits at a time. Um, poetry is really popular in history. Novels are kind of new, but people don't really read poetry anymore. Um, and I think they should. It's one of the reasons, you know, like a lot of music and lyrics are poetry, which is the closest we get to in modernity to engaging with poetry on a regular basis. So if you like lyrics and songs, then I would imagine you'd end up really liking poetry. You know, like especially rap. People talk about rap a lot in terms of like modern poetry. And I don't love poetry or rap that is really gross about women, but there's a lot of rap that I really like that really is able to go at pain and describe life in a way that's really unique. So I actually studied poetry at college. And uh, so I, I, have, I have some interest in poetry. Um, I didn't in high school. So if you did like, if you were made to read things in high school and you didn't really like them, um, I suggest looking into like postmodern and like weird poetry because some of it's really good. I know a lot of people like, um, like Milk and Honey. That's a very popular like postmodern style poetry book that is fine <laughs> but I I think people should give poetry a try you should give my poetry book a try uh it's uh it's about me you know you'll learn about me way too much about me I, I give way too much personal information in this poetry book I would never say any of this stuff out loud without it being written in poetry um but I just, I do think that the world would be a little bit better if we read a little more poetry. And, uh, and, and again, it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's fun to do. I, I, the thing about poetry is it's like, poetry books can be really expensive. And this is because poets don't sell a lot of copies of their books. So then the margin has to go up. Um, I charge the same amount for my poetry book as I do for my fiction books. Um, I'll be real, a lot more people bought my first book, Let It Breathe, than bought my second book, Broken Wrist Poetry. I think just because one is fiction and one is poetry. Or, you know, there's always like the author thing where like the first book you come out with, everybody who knows you buys it. And then the second one, they're like, well, I have the first one. I don't really need another, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, that's it. I really like it. And, um... My next book coming out will be Halloween themed. It's going to be a Halloween novella. I'm very excited. And then the book after that hopefully is a fantasy romance based in antiquity. But that one's still getting polished. The, my third, the third one should be ready in time, or ready before. Anyway, um, so that's my update. But basically what happened was is because I fell and broke my wrist, all my timelines got shifted. Um, the uh, fantasy romance book I'm working on, which will likely be four, um, is going to come out, I, th I think, an entire year after I initially wanted it to come out, just because of how everything went with breaking my wrist and then my health issues, which was in my last video, but you don't need to know about that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, definitely check it out. It's available on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com if you want to do that. I mean, I'll tell you a secret. A lot of books are still printed and shipped by Amazon. You just buy them off barnesandnoble.com. I know some people are personally against buying books off Amazon, so I think it's nice that Barnes & Noble automatically puts things off Amazon into 
their catalog just because it increases indie authors outreach ability um but yeah that that's that's i that's my book you know i i i wrote it um there are some opinions in here that would make you hate me for sure can't wait to, i'll get canceled for some of them i'm sure but uh the thing is about this book and this is this is i'm putting this into the record so that I can't, uh, as, as a way to defend if somebody tries to say that something in here tells you something about my opinion, a lot of the poems in here are purposefully contradictory. Because as people, when we're thinking about our feelings, our feelings often contradict themselves. And often when they're in a different moment or time, you'll have extremely different feelings about a topic, right? So in this book, for example, I talk about um, athletics a lot because I kept having to go to the bone doctor, the joint doctor that specializes in like athletic medicine, right? Because of like whatever. And uh, you know, there are moments where I'm like, oh, I feel, I feel like an athlete. You know, like my my cast said I was an athlete on it. It was really quite cool. And then there are other moments where I'm just like looking at the charts in the doctor's office, and it's like. I'm looking at all these torn ACLs. I'm remembering like my friends in high school who just got concussion after concussion playing football. And I was just sitting here on top of like my own health issues and you know, being injured in an accident. I'm just kind of like, it's really scary that we treat athletics the way we do in our country. And so that's a strong opinion. That's an opinion that gets a lot of people to hate you if you go after athletics in America. But uh, you know, that, that is my opinion. I think it is dangerous to have young kids playing sports to a point where they're getting seriously hurt. And that's what happens when you take like high school sports a little bit too seriously. Professional sports I like. Anyway, you didn't need to know. But uh, please buy my book. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Um, it makes me feel good. And it's available on Amazon KDP as well. So if you have the subscription, you can just uh, read it. I've been informed because it's like the poetry is like where it's positioned on the page is relevant. It reads kind of weird in ebook format so I would recommend buying the paperback even though it's more expensive. Um, I think it gives a better experience. A lot of poetry is meant to be read on paper um, and this was meant to be read on paper for sure. There, Because I was trained in poetry there's poems about my training in poetry where I kind of invite the audience to uh, write notes or circle or tab different things that they like because that's how you read poetry um, academically. Uh, so those poems obviously don't make a lot of sense in the ebook context. I think you can highlight in like your Kindle and stuff, but really it's a, a good thing to do tactilely to have a little pen and write little notes and and then it makes the poetry book really special because it makes it yours. I have a lot of poetry books that I have like annotated and with like little notes on them and it's one of those things where it suddenly isn't just like I love the poetry book because I love the poetry it becomes like I love the poetry book because it has a bit of me in it and my poetry book I, I really want people to put a bit of themselves in it. Right? So uh, thank you so much for joining me for book talk two. I will post one of these every single time I publish a book. <laughs> Promise. And uh, hopefully if you like the video or if you write poetry, let me know down below. I'd love to, especially if you have something published, I'd love to read it. I love poetry. <laughs> and uh, you know, if, if you don't like poetry, I suppose you can tell me too, but uh, I won't like it. <laughs> but yeah, so like, subscribe, share, buy a book for a friend. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.